Justin Franson here with the legend Dr. Howard Cohn, Cohn Health Institute, partner on Go Beyond Summit, extraordinaire doc that can fix pretty much anything. So just throwing it out there. You guys, if you haven't talked to him or seen him, met him, gone to his clinic here, it's a must. And we just, I love chatting with him, telling his stories. He just uh, recently uh, sold his company 7.2 to Secret and they're doing some amazing things internationally. So uh, it's perfect for our Go Beyond Summit. Now, we're covering the four pillars right now. The second one's intake and I mean, this, this covers food and drink and supplements and a lot more. So I want to turn it over to Dr. Howard Cohn and please tell us what is one of your go-to recommendations just for level one intro to a proper intake for someone? Well, it works both ways. You know, sometimes it's people are deficient in some of the basic things that they're not getting in their diet uh, based on an extreme they might be in, you know, someone's vegan and they're missing some things or someone's heavy like paleo or ketogenic and they're too acidic and they're missing some greens and you know, and it's like a miracle for them because they were doing one program so intense and so well, they were so good at it. Um, but no one program is perfect and no two individuals are exactly alike biochemically. So at the end of the day, it needs to be tweaked for the person, whatever the program is. That being said, the biggest thing is not so much what we need, it's what we're deficient in. You know the saying we talked about when we uh, talked about intake with you is, is that you can't fill a full glass, which means it's not so much what we need to get that we're deficient in, it's what we're toxic in that's interfering with our body's normal function. So um, that, in, in fact, actually, like for example, if I have too much mercury in my system, whatever, from a, like a tooth or it's a mercury amount of filling, uh, from uh, being around too many uh, um, mercury vapor lamps, having a, you know, in, in vaccination, anything that had mercury in it, whatever it is, like too much fish, uh, you know, that's, you know that, that's an issue as well for people. Let's say I'm mercury toxic for whatever reason. You know, that mercury can bind to certain um, minerals. That mercury can interfere with the absorption of certain nutrients. And so a lot of times people miss it. They don't test for it and they go, oh, you're deficient in this, or you're deficient in that according to this test. So they keep giving them this thing, not knowing that the issue is not that they're really deficient in it. It's because they can't digest, absorb, or assimilate the very mineral or nutrient. So we screen everybody here at the clinic to make sure that, you know, we screen them for infectious agents that interfere with function that might need to be cleansed out, bacteria, fungus, yeast, parasites, molds. We screen them for heavy metal toxicity, you know, lead, cadmium, uh, mercury, uh, all kinds of crazy stuff that affect people. Um, and then we screen them for toxic chemicals, you know, genetically modified organisms, we screen them for glyphosates and herbicides and pesticides and fungicides, we screen them for uh, things that are, believe it or not, chemtrails, we screen them for all these different things because all these things now affect us and infect our grandparents 100 years ago because they didn't exist, they weren't in our, our system. Uh, we screen them for food allergens because certain people eat things now their bodies become sensitized to it so much so that even something healthy could become like a foe and not a friend anymore, you know. People come in all the time, they're allergic to bizarre things or hypersensitive to something like an avocado. It's like, really? Who's allergic to avocado? Or rice even. Things that people think that are non-allergenic and then they'll have an issue with it. So if you're not testing, you're, you're guessing. So those are things that, again, it's, it's a lot of times ends up being, especially here at this clinic, not what I'm deficient in, but what I'm toxic in. What I love about what, what Dr. Cohn does is he does the tons of AK, applied kinesiology, or muscle reflex testing, essentially. So when he's testing, he can do functional you know, blood tests and all that analysis and see your neurotransmitters and test urine and hair and, and everything. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I think one of the easiest ways to talk to the body is through the, through the nervous system and really see you know, what, what the body holds strong with and what it is, is weak on. And 
when you get someone that is in tune with your energy and the flow, they can just test you right away. And it's just there, there's natural reflexes in our body. And if, this is, if it's a muscle reflex, if, if we say, hey, my name's Justin, yeah, I'm both strong. My name's Fred, oh, it's not Fred. <laughs> like, uh, my name's Justin, I mean, be strong. So your body, you know, if, if I'm holding up something I'm allergic to, like wheat, uh, I, my, my arm's gonna go weak. If I'm holding up something that I do well with, say watermelon, I'm gonna be strong. Like these are simple tests that he can do and then harmonize to clear an intake and clear the stressor. So you're not guessing, like he's not guessing. That's what I love about this whole business and, and everything you're doing at your institute. It's just, it's, it's genuine. So when you're looking at uh, basically hydration for people, what do you recommend? I mean, that's a, that's a big, big topic. Well, you know, uh, Quality of water is number one. Uh, you know, a lot of times people are, believe it or not, drinking tap water, which is insane. There's over 2,000 toxic chemicals in the water. The EPA has listed a health advisory for, shoot, ever, over 200 or either mutagens, carcinogens, or uh, tumor promoters. It's always exciting, right? Not to mention the medications and other things that are flowing through the tap water. People go, oh, my water's fine. You were drinking when I was a kid. It's like when you're a kid, your water was different. So it's different now because there's different things in it. And once it's polluted, you can't unpollute it. You all can only filter it. So we recommend that people, uh, you know, filter their water because if it's in a state where it's too acidic, you're not going to absorb it. Um, it's actually going to work against you. You're going to rob your body of minerals. Like a lot of people drink our own water, they filter it, reverse osmosis, but their water becomes too acidic. So, and then you have alkaline water, which is amazing, but a lot of people overdo that and they're drinking like 9.5 plus water all the time, all day long, which is great short term if you're trying to recover from a health challenge, but not great if you're doing it all the time, you can artificially over alkalize your body. Um, so there's always that, that sweet spot, you know, filtering and then getting the right pH to the water. And then at the end of the day, it really comes down to how your body's working because water is absorbed in your colon, your large intestine, that's how your body does it. Now, if you got a lot of crap in there, no pun intended, uh, there's not supposed to be in there, things are not going through, or you're constipated, or you're having all these different issues, it's going to be hard for you to absorb water. So a lot of people will be dehydrated, not because they're not drinking water, but because they're not absorbing it. So sometimes we recommend a homeopathic remedy. We use one called rehydration. You put it in your water, it makes your cells more, you your colon, uh, more absorb, uh, absorb the water better. It can be used as part of detox and cleansing programs to help people flush as well. Awesome. Absolutely love it. What's a, what's a perfect menu uh, for someone with my body type? Where I'm, I'm uh, AB positive, I'm about 6'2", about 180, pretty active. Well, what's, a, what's a good recommendation for someone like me? Well, as you said, the AB, you know, blood type, I really do like, like the blood type recommendations. And, you know, although it's not an absolute science for people, I do find clinically when people eat right for their blood type, especially eat their beneficial foods versus their avoid foods, God, they just function better, they feel better, they recover faster, their digestion's better, they have more energy, they sleep better. Problem is, is if you have a blood type where you, there's a food that you love and it's on the avoid list for you, you know, so where might be some issues for you, you know, um, uh, but I do recommend eating for the AB blood type. I do recommend that, again, the basics. The basics are sugars are poison. I know it's sweet and it tastes great, but it's a poison. Grains make you fat. <laughs> so if you're going to eat grains, you're going to be fat. Just so you know, that's how we get cows. You know, if you want to eat cows, you eat grass. They don't eat corn and soy and all this crap we give them. How do you fatten a cow so you can, so before you, so you can make more money before you get them to slaughter? feed them corn, right? Corn fed cows, right? That's kind of how you make them fat. So those are things not, not to eat. But you know, gosh, you know, healthy proteins um, for you, um, having that are right for your blood type, good fats that are recommended for your blood type. Um, those are the two most, two most important things. Uh, raw vegetables, having the majority of your, your diet be 
be a raw, be raw, you know, there's, it's important. Now, not all raw cassava, people do a raw, the body gets too cold, and then when they go to the acupuncture, the acupuncture's like, you're too cold. You have all these imbalances. So there's a certain sweet spot for everybody in them, always to make sure, because we've all lived different lives, to make sure that you're not sensitive to anything. Because even like there are some people that come in that they're eating perfectly for their blood type, but they've grown sensitive or allergic to a certain food from a variety of different reasons. Either eating is not organic and it was distorted, the chemistry of it in your body, and now you react to all of them or something in that family. So, or, you know, your mom was pregnant, when, was pregnant with you and you ate nothing but that because that's what she craved and now you're sensitive to it even though it's supposed to be right for your blood type, those kinds of things. Awesome. Well, recovery that he formulated uh, is, is something that's just fantastic for everyone. So Dr. Cohen, tell me about recovery. I know you formulated that. It's just absolutely fantastic for nutrition. Go over that for our intake. And so uh, it's an amazing supplement for wellness. Sure, we have over 2,000 nutritional products here at the Cohen Health Institute from 100 plus companies from around the world. So we got a lot of things and uh, for whatever anybody needs at a certain time. That's why we have all these different things. And uh, probably the thing that's used the most uh, is this product called Recovery by 7.2. And uh, basically what it is, it's a molecular hydrogen supplement in a tablet that somebody can take that's, whether they're a child, an adult, whether they have a health challenge or a world-class athlete looking for better performance. So uh, molecular hydrogen itself has been, there's over 63 disease models that it's been studied for. It's got uh, hundreds, probably over 500 now, uh, peer-reviewed studies on the, on the subject, very popular in Japan. Uh, we're a little slow in the United States and North America about catching up with this science, but it's an absolute miracle. It is an absolute miracle. It not only does it help you recover, recover helps you perform better. Um, there's almost anything uh, that somebody could have going on in their body can function or be better from this product. That's how exciting it is. I mean, it is a, uh, it's an impact product where somebody can take it right away and have a result right away. Uh, it is a selective antioxidant, which means that, you know, fire is good, fire is bad, you know, like a forest fire is bad, your house burning down is bad, but a pilot light is good. And so what it does is it acts, seems to, you know, put out the uh, forest fire that leaves your pilot light lit. So it's a smart molecule, it knows how to work, it's one of the most potent antioxidants, if not the most I've ever seen. And uh, it's beloved by athletes around the world. Yeah, it just flies your body with oxygen, helps you recover. So, you guys, you can get it in powder form, you can get it in a little uh, pill, right? Tablet. It's fantastic. Take it every day, everyone loves it. So, uh, and it works. I mean, he's, he just went traveling internationally. Three people had three different issues. He cleared them, all three of them, instantly with the product. And there were some major challenges that, that a couple of them had. So, it, it's just across the board, really effective. So. You guys, Dr. Howard Cohn, going beyond with us on intake and supplements and detox and so many other avenues that revolve around our health. Thank you so much for sharing your insight, wisdom. Thanks. Going beyond with us. Guys, check out Cohn Health Institute in Costa Mesa, California. You're going to love it. And we will see you next summit. Thank sure. you. Bye, guys. <laughs>